welcome to my week 32 bump date. 32 weeks this week, um, getting closer and closer to the 40 week mark, woohoo! So this week, baby is the size of a head of lettuce. Baby is now sleeping 90 to 95% of the time, although that doesn't really um, make sense to me because I still feel baby moving, tossing and turning all the time. He's very active. Baby is working on skills such as sucking, um, inhaling, exhaling, getting ready for the moment that he is born. Um, baby is also possibly um, head down and is getting ready to, um, you know, get more into position for labor. They say sometime between 32 weeks and 39 weeks, the baby does like start to descend and get in that position um, just because he's running out of space, running out of room. And so um, my um, pelvic area is expanding to get ready for labor. And so that's the biggest space for him. So that's where he goes. Um, so I'm hoping that baby is head down. I'm hoping that he is not breech um, or transverse so that I don't have to have a C-section, but I'm not really sure if he is head down or not. Again, this is my first time being pregnant, so I'm not really sure what to feel to be able to know if he is head down or not. Um, all of his movements feel about the same to me, so I'm really not sure. The biggest symptom this week is I've been having a lot of um, upper chest mm, <laughs> upper sternum pain um, and it's just like right on the top of my bump like right underneath my um, breast and it's really on my right side um, or in the middle like right here it's hard for you guys to see and it's hard for me to get up but it's like right here like here's my bra line and, and it's like right here is where it really hurts um, and I think that's just baby and it's tugging on my skin. Um, but like I said before multiple times, it's hard for me to lean forward anymore. I have to constantly lean back. It hurts for me to sit up straight as well. Um, so that's been kind of a bummer to deal with. My belly has been very itchy lately, um, especially at that certain part. Um, and so I've been scratching at it a lot and it's been hurting. Um, and so I'm trying to put more lotion on it so that it doesn't get so dry or itchy or I'm not really sure. I think it's just my skin stretching out. Weight, I'm at um, 145, um, which is I think a good range, um, a little over 20 pounds that I've gained so far. And I'm almost at the end. So like they said, you should, um, for me, at least I was, my target was anywhere from 25 to 35 pounds. So I'm right, right almost in that area. So I think I'm doing great on that. Um, I have been hungry lately, although while I do get hungry and I do like to eat, if I am busy and doing other things, I don't, I don't, like, I can still function without food. Um, and so it just kind of depends if I'm not doing anything or if I'm busy. If I'm busy, then I don't really notice the need to have food and the pang of food of like hunger pains. Um, but if I'm not doing anything and I'm just sitting around, then I get that need or that urge to like munch. I do really still want a lot of sweet things. The other day I was really craving donuts and Anthony was super nice and let me go out and get donuts. So I went to Krispy Kreme and got a dozen and Anthony and I have been enjoying those and baby is enjoying them as well. My back has been starting to hurt a lot more lately. Um, and I think it's just like my belly pulling on it. Um, just cause my belly's getting huge. Um, so I haven't had the belly band yet, but it is just really kind of sore and um, it hurts if I'm not like leaning up against something. My nose is still really congested, really runny. Um, I'm still having those weird instances, instances of having like a really um, sharp uh, pain in my nose where I feel like I need to sneeze, but then I never do sneeze. It's just a really weird um, feeling that I have and um, I hope that goes away after I give birth. Another big symptom this week is um, like pregnancy insomnia where I just cannot sleep. Um, the other day I woke up at I want to say 4 a.m. laid in bed for an hour. Usually I can go back to sleep within that hour. Could not go back to sleep within that, that hour. Finally got so frustrated that I got up and I went downstairs and I actually like watched a little bit of television until for like another hour until like 6 a.m. And then um, I finally went back upstairs and was able to fall back asleep. But 
it's just kicking my butt. I just get way, I wake up and I either have way too much on my mind or I just can't sleep. Last night I was up in the middle of the night, could not go back to sleep, but that was mostly because I was stressing out about trying to figure out baby's name. Um, I'm really, really starting to stress out now that we still don't have a name for our baby. I'm 32 weeks. Um, I could go into labor, you know, soon and we still have not figured out a name for baby. Um, I'm really stressing out about it. I think I'm putting way too much thought into it and I just really need to pick, but I just can't do it. And I, I mean, this is a big decision. Like he's going to have this name for the rest of his life. So I'm feeling really stressed about it. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm just, I'm feeling really stressed lately. Um, also with the name, I'm also just stressed about like the nursery, getting everything set up. Um, I'm feeling stressed about making sure that we have everything for baby when baby comes, which is hard to do because I haven't had my baby shower yet. So I've just been really stressed lately. Um, and Anthony's been a trooper to stick with me and, and be patient while I go through my stressful modes with him. I'm still feeling baby move a whole ton, like I said earlier. Um, kicks, jabs, fluid motions, rolling over, you know, he is active, active, active. Um, he's my little buddy. I love feeling his movements. Anthony loves feeling his movements. Um, I keep trying to get catch them on camera, and every time I pull my phone out, of course the baby stops. So it's been really frustrating, because um, I really want to capture it on camera so I can show everybody else what I'm talking about. I mean, I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, what it looks like, but I want to get those moments on camera for me, but I don't know, he's camera shy. No leg cramps, no headaches, no nausea. Um, no swelling. It does hurt for me to um, bend down and get things. Um, it's becoming harder for me to bend all the way down and then get all the way back up. It's like a really big uh, production for me, so I try not to bend down as much as I can. It's getting harder for me to um, put my shoes on in the morning because I have to bend over to like tie them or put my sh foot into the shoe, so that's been kind of annoying to have to deal with. I do feel like I have to waddle around now um, just because my belly is just getting so big and I constantly feel baby like pushing down on my bladder or just like pulling down and so I'm like having to like waddle around and rock back back and forth and side to side while I walk. I've been really thirsty lately. I've been drinking a ton more, drinking a lot more water, which is good for baby, good for me, keep me hydrated. Um, I really haven't had any like Braxton Hicks or anything like that, or if I do, I don't know that I'm having them. Um, so that's a good thing, I think. Um, the big thing this week was um, I went to my next doctor's appointment so um, I went in and um, they took my weight and then they took my blood pressure and my blood pressure was actually high. And then I went into my room, waited for my doctor and my doctor came and she commented on my blood pressure and uh, my blood pressure was high one time before. It wasn't la my, at my last doctor's visit, but it was at the doctor's visit before prior to that and it was high um, and so my doctor was a little concerned at that because she just is worried about you know preeclampsia she just doesn't want my blush, blood pressure to constantly be high and I told her that there ha there are several times where I'll just be sitting on the couch or I'll be laying in bed I won't be doing anything and all of a sudden my heart will just start beating really fast almost like it feels like I have just been running a whole ton and I've just now sat down even though I had not been running um, and so she said a lot of that is kind of normal, just have a faster beating heart just because you're pumping more blood um, and things like that. But she um, was a little worried about my high blood pressure and so um, she had me sit in a chair for a couple minutes, five to ten minutes, um, with my, you know, my feet flat on the ground and then she had the nurse come and take my blood pressure again. Um, and when they took my blood pressure for the second time, it was more, much more normal. I believe it was 120 over 80. Um, and so it was in a more normal range, so they were seemed to be happy with that. Um, so it'll be really interesting at my next appointment to see if my blood pressure is up again. Um, my doctor said it could have been just the drive there. When I went to my doctor's appointment that day it had snowed really crazy and um, we were like under a level two snow emergency and there was snow everywhere, the roads were bad and she was like, so maybe that, you know, was just what got your blood pressure high. Um, I'm not sure, um, 
what all that means. Um, I'll definitely be interested at my next doctor's appointment to see if it's high again or normal. I'm hoping my blood pressure stays under control. My doctor also told me that this is the, that from now on, I will start to go every two weeks to the doctors instead of every four weeks. So my next doctor's appointment is in two weeks and I will be 34 weeks pregnant. Um, and she said that would be, a, that'll be a normal appointment. And then um, two weeks after that, I'll have my next doctor's appointment. And at that appointment, they will check and see like if baby is head down and things like that. So it's crazy, you know, when she said that we're getting towards the end, trying to see what baby's position is. I hope, hope, hope that you know he is head down or it starts to move head down i really would like to avoid a c-section if i can um and just do you know uh vaginal birth um i definitely want to have epidural i don't want to feel any pain but i don't want to be induced either i kind of just want to go on my own so we'll see if that's possible or not like i said it's my first pregnancy so i don't have anything to compare it to i don't know you know if i'm more likely to go over or go early or you know anything like that but all in all everything was good she took my fundal height that seemed normal um we listened to baby's heartbeat it was 148 which i believe is the exact same um, beats per minute it was at his heartbeat was at last time so she seemed happy with all of this and things are looking good so two more weeks and i'll have my next doctor's appointment next week um, I, Anthony and I will start our, um, parenting classes. So our first class is our newborn basics class where we, where we are going to learn more about, you know, just newborn appearance and diapers and, and feedings and just simple things to get ready for and to know about with newborns. Um, I think this will be very informational for Anthony and I'm hoping to kind of meet some, uh, people in our area that are kind of around the same stage as I am and just you know because I don't know very many pregnant people my best friend is pregnant but she's in Toledo and she's several weeks behind me so it's really hard for me to find someone who's in the same you know time and space as me and to be able to re relate to someone with um all of my issues so i'm really excited for these classes i hope um, they're worth the money <laughs> anthony has been doing great he's been very supportive of me um he's very caring he always wants me to sit and rest um he's always you know kissing baby kissing my belly and talking to me about baby um he doesn't really um, help me too much on the name aspect. He likes the four names that we've been on for a while and he just wants me to pick one, um, but I'm having problems with that. I have been more tired lately, but I think like I was saying before, it's kind of due to the whole pregnancy insomnia and not being able to get enough sleep at night um, and just being woken up and, and things like that. But hey, on the bright side, it's getting me prepared for baby. I know I'm not gonna be able to sleep very much and I'm planning on taking over most of the night feedings, um, especially once Anthony goes back to work. So I totally um, am ready for it. And I do actually really good on little to no sleep. So um, I'm not too worried about it. I will miss, you know, being able to sleep in and sleep for long hours of time, long stretches of time, but it's all worth it with little baby. I think that's all um, for this week. Um, here is my uh, 32 week belly bump. Okay, so here is uh, my 32 week bump with clothes on. You can see like my shirt is super stretched and I just look like I'm pregnant. Like there is no hiding it now. Um, so if I take the shirt up, here is my belly from the side, here it is from the front, and here is my belly from the side. So I feel very wide, very large, very pregnant. <laughs> okay guys, so that is all for this week. Tune in next week and I will tell you guys about our first parenting class that we're taking. Again, it's the newborn basics course. Um, and I'll tell you guys about that and what I thought about it. I'm really excited to take it. Um, and I'm excited to just keep moving this pregnancy along and getting more towards the end and I cannot wait to see my son's face and what he looks like and I just I'm so excited so I hope you guys are excited with me and I hope you guys you know um continue to follow me along on this journey bye guys